Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. All right. So just like I always, just like I always say in my most of my recordings, I got the playoffs on. Mavericks Timberwolves. This is game four. It is the fourth quarter. It is a tie game right now. Eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. It's coming down to the wire. We're gonna see if Dallas sweeps or Timberwolves survive a game. But we ain't. Well, we ain't talk about that. We're not here to talk about basketball. We're actually here to talk about wrestling. NXT. NXT was tonight, and um, I'm not gonna lie to you. This might be the best NXT episode of the year. That's saying a lot. That's saying a lot. I know. But you gotta you gotta roll with me here. So the episode started with Ava out there um showing us the new women's North American championship. Um pretty cool, pretty kind of excited about that. She also introduced Sexy Red, who was on today's episode of NXT, and I was just like Boy, what are we doing here? <laughs> I'm like, Lord, how did we get here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Sexy Red also let us know that she will be hosting NXT Battleground. So this ain't the last time we're seeing Sexy Red. Great. <laughs> Just fantastic. Just fantastic. But let me fast forward to what I'm here, here to really talk about. So... We also were going to learn Roxanne Perez's opponent for Battleground. I thought it was going to be Natalia because they kind of been teasing that for a minute that Natalia and uh, Roxanne were going to go at it. So I'm sitting there thinking it's Roxanne. So I'm like, I'm like, all right, you know, just, just let it be known. So Roxanne's talking about, you know, I don't care about the Raw. I don't care about SmackDown. I only care about the NXT Women's Championship. You know, da, da, da. she's just chatting. I can't. I'm not convinced of Roxanne as a heel. I'm sorry. It's just this is how I'm, I'm feeling. So Ava comes out and says and introduce Roxanne Perez's opponent for Battleground. Her opponent at Battleground is the TNA Women's Champion, TNA Women's Champion, Jordan Grace. Now I know when Jordan Grace made her appearance on um in the Rumble this past year, she said, You're gonna see me again real soon, right? She said that. She she warned us, right? We were warned. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting it. Which makes me more happy because I wasn't expecting it because it was a surprise to me. I was happy about it. Roxanne Perez, Roxanne Perez versus Jordan Grace next week. I mean, June, well, next, next Sunday, not this Sunday coming up, next Sunday at Battleground. I was like, with it, this should be a fire match. That should be a fire match. To make it even better, Jordan Grace will be in action next week on NXT. Against Stevie Turner. I was like. I'm, I'm digging it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm hype. I'm wet. It's feeling good. And. If you thought it couldn't get any better than that. Oh but it did. It got, it got way better. So here we are at the main event. Trick Williams. Our NXT champion and the young OG, Javante Evans, as they take on the Coffee Brothers of Gallus. Sexy Red was out there too. You know, again, I don't really care, but she, she's just out there, right? So, they have their match. Trick and Javante win. Boom, right? So, af so as after they win, here comes Last Legend. 
Last Legend comes out there. I'm sitting there thinking Last Legend and Sexy Red about to get it on. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking they about to throw hands. You know what I'm saying? Because you know Trick Williams and Last Legend, you know they're they're a couple. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, that's oh yes, what I've been waiting for. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> that's what I've been waiting for. You know they dapped it up, and then Sexy Red and Javante Evans left the ring, which left Lash and Trick. So Lash is asking asking Trick, um. Can you just tell me that you attacked um, Noam Dar and Oba Mensa? So, early in the night, Oba Mensa got attacked. And I think last week, Noam Dar got attacked, right? So, they got attacked. And all fingers pointed to Trick, honestly. And so, last legend was out here. She was asked questions. She was like, she was like Trick, just tell me that you did it. Tell me that you did it, or tell me that you know who did it, right? And Trick just looking at her like I didn't, I didn't do it. I had nothing to do with that. So as La as as Last Legend is pleading to get an answer, the lights go out. In my mind, I'm thinking like, oh, Noam Dar and Oba Mensa just just set up like Last Legend just set up Trick. Here, here's Noam Dar. And and um, Oba Mensa about to attack Trick. That's what I was thinking. Lights come back on. Still don't know who's behind Trick, but whoever it was hit Trick from behind and knocked Lash on the floor as well. So then he's just he's just beating, and now he's just beating him up. I'm trying to see who the face. I'm trying to see who that is, but his head's down, so I can't really see his face. And Vic Joseph just kept asking, who the hell is that? And I'm asking, who the hell is that? He stands up. Still can't really see his face. But then Vic Joseph just yells, oh, my God. And then when I saw who it was, I said, oh, my God, as well. It was Ethan Page. All ego, Ethan Page. And Vic almost slipped up too. <laughs> he almost slipped up too. He said, "Isn't he an AE?" He almost said it. <laughs> he almost said it too. He almost said, "Ain't he? Ain't, ain't he an AE?" Almost said it. <laughs> but that is a very good question from Vic. Because the last time I ever eat from Ethan Page, yeah, he's in. He's he's in AEW, but. Nobody said nothing about his contract. Right? Like, you know, Fightful, um, the wrestling website. Like, any wrestling website would have said something about Ethan Page leaving AEW or his contract coming up or whatever the case is. Nothing was said. Like, n like nothing. Right? And here's Ethan Page on NXT. So, I guess his contract expired. I, I, I heard he was unhappy. That I heard, I believe. But I didn't know his contract was expired. So then Ethan Page just knocks out Trick Williams, has the T NXT Championship in his hand and puts it up. And then show ended. And I'm sitting there like, what the hell did I just watch? <laughs> you know what, I'm what, the, what the hell did I just watch? What the hell did I just see? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, boy. What? Ethan Page is in NXT. Now, mind you, Trick Williams doesn't even have an opponent at Battleground. I think we just found it. I think we just found him. Which means it's going to be Trick Williams versus Ethan Page at Battleground. That's wild to me. Like, yo, that, that, that dog. Like, yo, this, yeah, I can't, I, I, I have no words for this, bro. Like, what? Ethan Page is in NXT. Wow. First, we had Sean Spears earlier this year, and now we got Ethan Page. Man. This is nuts. This is nuts, bro. But now that Ethan Page is here, 
kind of want him to win the title. I, I ain't even gonna lie. Trick, I'm sorry. You know, tr Trick, you my guy. Listen, Trick. <laughs> trick. Listen, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We hit. You know what I'm saying? We, we hit. But I mean, damn, bro. Ethan Page has been my guy for a while, man. I wasn't, I'm not, I wasn't, I'm just fully heavy on Ethan Page, but I like him. You know what I'm saying? I, I like, I like Ethan Page. You know what I'm saying? Now I kind of want him to win the NXT Championship because he didn't win anything in, in AEW. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he should have won something. At least tag team title. At least tag team bowl. Some shit. Now I got an opportunity to become NXT Champion. Damn. I, I don't think I'd be mad if he wins. I don't think I'd be mad. But damn, this is... Boy. I'm going to talk about a wild NXT. Holy hell. But yeah. That's where we at with it. Um, We're going to find out more information next week. Because it will be the last NXT next week until Battleground on that Sunday. So just get ready for it. So until then, it's been Rose, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and support. As always. Um, as I said about five times now, <laughs> um, next week, uh, we will talk about NXT battleground. We'll do our prediction video. We'll also talk about the NBA finals because even if Dallas loses tonight, I still believe that maybe they still get the W they still, they still win. We'll say Tuesday. I guess game five would be Thursday and then maybe game six. I don't know. <laughs> but I got Dallas going to the finals. So hopefully within next week, we'll have that already because the finals start June 6th. So, but yeah, it is what it is. So until next time, peace, love, wanted. Yeah.